Magistrate Bongani Ndlovu ruled that despite the fact that the accused is a public figure, the court had taken him as an offender just like anyone else in sentencing. During mitigation of sentence, Likoro's lawyer asked the court to give him a wholly suspended sentence of four years imprisonment because he is a family man who is also a sole breadwinner. In his ruling, Glovo argued that the defense struggled to find substantial and compelling circumstances. In addition, Glovo says there were no reasons presented why the court should depart from the mandatory sentence of 10 years. The magistrate further argued that despite the humiliation suffered by Likoro's family resulting from the case, the victim and her family have been equally affected. He emphasized that rape at work and at homes by husbands and boyfriends often go unreported because of fear of humiliation, but the scars remain with the victims for life. Earlier, State Prosecutor Yatiel Mudamburi asked the court to give Likoro 13 years imprisonment because it would fit the crime that he committed.